G'day, I'm, uh, I'm Peter Sesselman and today I'm going to show you how to install the, uh, the Peterman dual internal pickup. This guitar once upon a time had a uh, bridge pickup installed in it um, but I never really liked the sound of it so um, I pulled that off but it still has some remnants of what used to be inside it so it already has a hole for the jack plug um, but I'll, I'll go through kind of how you do that anyway in a minute. Uh, and it, it also has this really ugly equalizer thing sitting on the side here, which I'm going to take out and I'm just going to put a little cover plate over it for the time being. Maybe one day when I'm feeling particularly enthusiastic I'll get some nice timber and, and fill that in. But for now I'm just going to put a temporary cover plate on it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to loosen the strings and pull them aside so we can get our hand inside to work and and inspect our little, little mirror here on the stick. Um, any makeup mirror can do really if you can get in there and just have a bit of a look. Uh, classical guitars have more room inside to put your pickups. Um, they don't have the little pins that go through the body and poke out underneath so you have more flexibility on where to place them. Um, I just find for my taste uh, I like them fairly close to the bridge but inside so I'm going to put one of the bass pickup right underneath here on the base side and I'm going to put the treble pickup right there on the treble side then they're just going to go through here and I'm going to screw the plug in. This is a two minute installation so to loosen the strings first I'm using a string winder so here goes. Now to hold the strings aside um, while I'm working inside I'm going to just hold them with the masking tape. I'm going to put a little bit of tissue around the strings because I don't want the the glue from the masking tape to get stuck on the strings as I want to reuse these strings and just tape it over the edge like that. So now we can then get our mirror and we can do a bit of inspecting here. You can see, okay, this is what's going on in here, a couple of braces there. What do is just get rid of the rubbish which is inside there at the moment, that's that old pickup I was saying. So the pair of pliers or a spanner is going to loosen that check now. Um, the pickup comes in a box like this. Um, it has two, or the dual one, has two pickup heads on it and a jack plug, which then obviously will fit through the hole there. You need about a 10 mil hole. Don't start off with a 10 mil drill and small drill in the position that you want to do it and slowly drill your way up small to, to medium and then eventually up to a, to a 10 mil or even if you have a reamer or something or one of these, uh, these kind of fancy drills that kind of taper down like that you can then slowly and gently so the, the pickup comes with uh, some blue tech and that will allow you to uh, before you do your final installation you can then roll up some little balls of blue tech um, stick them on your, on your pickups and you can experiment with a few different places on the, on the outside of the guitar. You can put the pickups here and there and everywhere and just see what, what gives you the best sound out of that instrument. Some, some guitars give off sounds in all different places and I know things like arch top guitars for instance they give a lot of sound out of the back as well as the front. So you, you know you might consider putting one pickup on the back and one at the front door. That's really entirely up to you how you do it. On this particular guitar, I'm going to put both pickups uh, near the bridge, one on each side, bass on the bass side, treble on the treble side. And then I'm just going to wire that through the hole. And that's it. Very straightforward. In the packet, it comes with some um, kneadable epoxy. That's a bit of a packet over here. I don't know if um, different countries might have different packaging, but this is a product by uh, Sellis in Australia or, or Araldite um, and it's a putty that you cut a little slice off and you knead it together for a few minutes so it's all nice and smooth and all the same color and it's very similar to the blue tack except after about five minutes this putty sets rock hard so when you're doing a permanent insulation you can choose to use the, the kneadable putty um, to put your pickups in and they will be there permanently um, another alternative is to use a bit of heat glue, that works quite well too, that way if you ever want to take the pickup back off again with a little bit of a hot knife you can slice it back off. Or you could even install it using the, the temporary glue tack. Okay, here's a little trick for getting that jack plug through the hole and, and down to here. 
the long tapered handle take your your jack plug nut drop it onto the stick and then your jack plug washer drop that on there then we poke it through the hole then put your hand inside find the, the brush handle and set your jack plug onto it then gently pull this through till the thread comes through there slide your washer and, and nut up towards it and then basically tighten her up like that give it a little bit of a tightening with a pair of pliers or a spanner okay so we now have the two pickups here and the jacks now installed at the back there so next step now is to mix up the glue and glue them in situ I, um, I tend to practice a little bit before I actually go ahead to do it so I know where I'm heading I can kind of feel feel inside the guitar and go okay that's where I want it to be so I've got a good feel for it so you know, a couple of times take your hand in and out I'm going to take my watch off for this hand in and out of the guitar and go to the spot where you want to put it because you don't want to be mucking around too much inside the guitar so there's the one pickup there's the other so I just leave those laying on top of the guitar like that while I mix up the glue and the glue looks like this it's kind of dark in the middle and lighter on the outside it's like a lolly so start kneading that between your fingers kneading, kneading, squeezing do a good job, make sure it's 100% mixed okay, so this is starting to look pretty mixed now now this stuff sets in about 10 minutes Make sure you've got a rag nearby because you might want to rub some of this off your fingers while you're working with it. So you end up with a little ball like that. Now, of that ball, we're just going to pull up a tiny little, uh, tiny little bit. So I said before, about the size of a pea, no bigger. Uh, more glue doesn't make it better. And I roll that into a tiny little pea, and then place that in the center of the pickup. Grab another little bit. I'm going to roll this and place it in the center of the base pickup. The second pickup. I'm going to wipe my hands a bit because I don't want to get too much of this stuff onto the guitar. And start with the treble pickup my hand in here, try not to bump anything I'm not supposed to. Okay. It's just gently squeeze. If you squeeze too hard, as I said, you'll squeeze the glue all over the surface. So a slow, gentle squeeze. Should be perfect. Same with the base pickup. Going back in here. Then I'm going to flip it that way, so that the weight of the pickups on the glue so they don't accidentally fall off while they're setting. The little bit which is left over, keep an eye on it because you'll, that'll tell you when it's set. Now that's done. Both pickups are now installed. Jack's in. All we've got to do now is to string it back up and see how it sounds. So, take the masking tape off. Like that. And then we just tighten this back up. Mm -hmm.